devout Catholics. The family home has a private chapel where in past times they gathered to celebrate the mass. The first window on the left, a little oratory, yes. My goodness, if that could speak, that could tell you a lot of things. So many prayers. In the time of Cromwell, they drove all the Catholics out. We were Catholic, we are Catholic still. And they said, to hell or to Connors. In other words, send us to Connors. Connors is up in the west, you know, where we would starve to death because there was nothing. In occupied Ireland, the Ryans eventually got their land and hounds back, but life was never easy. Bringing the time up to 1929, when there was a terrible slump, things got terrible hard, and in the end, my father couldn't pay his bills, and the bank got everything. All Scartine was up for sale. Everything was, was numbered for the sale. I remember the, the terrible depression in the family, that our home was going. It was desperate. There was a wonderful old aunt, our great aunt, and she was terribly holy and very religious. It was a terribly religious house, you know, without being stupid about it, you know. Every morning we'd be brought down from our room with a nanny we had then, and we'd say our prayers in the oratory, and this old aunt used to come along and they used to pray so hard. And she'd kneel on the prejo in front of the statue, praying to our lady to save Scartine. And she was doing this one morning. It was quiet, there was nothing happening. And suddenly our lady's hand fell off the statue. And we reckon that they actually put our hand on the place. We looked on it as our lady's hand uh, the Blessed Virgin's hand down on the place. And it was after that, immediately, my father was sitting at his desk and this telegram came and on the telegram was, stop the cattle, a cheque has been sent to the bank and the place is saved. He had tears of joy in his eyes and he sent um, a boy or a man out to stop the herdsman who was driving the cattle down off the place, down. My father, he had been in the army in the 16th Lancers, and his brother officer stumped up about 10 or 12,000, which was an awful lot of money in those days, and saved the place. We've gone through very difficult times in the family. You know, we've been bankrupt and so on, and, but we are, we are privileged, we have been privileged. Sure of it. No wonder we, we, we've had so many blessings. <laughs>